Welcome to Module 3 of the Troop Cookie Coordinator Training. In this module, we will walk you through placing and picking up your initial order. Please note that if you are viewing this training after January 8th, you will need to order your cookies directly from a cookie cupboard and can skip this module. There will be a brief quiz at the end of this module and you're encouraged to take notes. Keep an eye out for the green star, which indicates an answer you may need for a quiz question. After your troop has held a goal setting session and family meeting, you're ready to place your initial cookie order. The deadline for placing your initial cookie order is January 8th at 11.59 p.m. Placing your initial order ensures your troop will have cookies on the very first day of the program. In fact, the only way to guarantee your troop will have the cookies you want is to place an initial order. You may want to highlight the reminder for this at the top of page 11 in your troop plan book. If you do not place an initial order, your troop will have to wait for the cupboards to open on January 31st, which may feel like a long time for families who are excited to get started. Your troop cookie team, leaders, treasurer, and you, the cookie coordinator, should review your troop's goals and budget to determine your initial order. A good rule is to order 85% of your troop's goal to start. This way you will have enough cookies to get you through the first critical weeks without going to a cupboard. We also recommend you order at least a case of each variety. Troops can order as many or as few cases as they choose. If your troop participated last cookie season, we have posted a cookie sales history report on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms for your reference. New troops will want to review the flyer, How to Determine Your Troop's Girl Scout Cookie Order, also available on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies, which shows the average packages sold by Girl Scout level in our council last year. Be sure to account for boost sales when you determine initial cookie order to ensure you will have cookies the first weekend of boost sales. The cookie cupboards will be very busy and can't always fill orders right away. The troop cookie team should work in partnership with the parents and the girls to determine your initial order based upon the girls' goals. This is best discussed at your family meeting so everyone is in agreement on the troop's initial order commitment since the entire troop is responsible for selling the cookies ordered. It's common for troops to not order enough cookies at the start of the program and run out within just a few days. In fact, the average troop made five pickups for cookies last year. That's a lot of trips in just six weeks. To encourage troops to place orders big enough to get them through the first few weeks of the cookie program, we've created a special initial order bonus. This bonus is a reward for troops who are willing to work towards a stretch goal. This year, the stretch goal is set at 85% of the troops total sold last year. Troops should set their troop goal first to determine if they are comfortable working towards the initial order bonus. If your troop places an initial order that meets the requirements for the bonus, every girl listed on your ABC Smart Cookies troop roster will earn a Stellar Seller Kit, which includes exciting tools for selling and will be available to pick up in January with the cookie initial order. In addition, each qualifying girl and the troop cookie coordinator earn a hydration pack. That's right, new this year, the troop cookie coordinator can earn the initial order bonus too. Troops who qualify for the bonus also have an opportunity to participate in a special case exchange day. So if you accidentally order too many shortbreads, you can swap them for thin mints. To earn the initial order bonus, troops must place a qualifying initial order and meet all the requirements by 11.59 p.m. on Tuesday, January 8th. Review the troop initial order bonus flyer on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms for additional details. Some minimums and limitations do apply. If a girl is missing from your troop roster, she will not earn the bonus items. Ensure all your Girl Scouts complete their registration process and submit any transfer requests to customer care at girlscoutsoc.org right away. Now, let's review the process for placing your initial order. We recommend placing your order in December so you can relax over winter holiday, knowing your cookies are on their way. Follow the step-by-step -step instructions beginning on page 12 of your troop plan book. You can also tune into a cookie chat on January 7th, which will cover placing your initial order, and watch the Smart Cookies videos for more info about entering your order into Smart Cookies. See page 8 of the Troop Plan Book for instructions for accessing these training videos as well as the order card, nutritional information, and more. To place your initial order, log on to abcsmartcookies.com. Initial orders must be entered by 11.59 p.m. on January 8th. After this date, troops will be locked out from the initial order function. Please open your Troop Plan Book to page 12 and highlight this deadline. No paperwork is due when you place your initial order, but you should print a copy of your troop initial order report from ABC Smart Cookies. You will use this when you pick up your cookies in January. Troops order cookies by the case. Each case holds 12 packages of cookies. Once ordered, you are able to transfer cookies to girls by the package. 
If you need support on how to determine your initial order, refer to the initial order resource on gscookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources and forms or contact your service unit cookie manager. Many service unit cookie managers will host an informal initial order workshop to give you additional advice. Please turn to page 14 of the Troop Plan Book as we review the procedures for picking up your initial order. Once your order is placed, your next step will be to pick up your cookies. Your service unit distributor will let you know when and where to pick up your order. Be sure to write your pickup date and time in the space on the inside of the front cover of your Troop Plan Book. Picking up your troop's initial order of cookies on your assigned distribution day is not optional. Ask your troop leader to help recruit a cookie pickup distributor for your troop if you have a conflict on your service unit's distribution day. Troop helper adults from your troop can form a team to pick up cookies and distribute to the girls, provided you train them on the procedure. This is a great way to get other troop parents involved so you don't have to do everything yourself. On distribution day, bring the troop's initial order report you printed to confirm that your order is correct. Before you sign for your order, carefully check and count your cases by a variety to ensure that you are picking up matches your troop initial order report. Once you have signed for the cookies, your troop is financially responsible. Do not start loading your car until after you have counted and signed for the cookies. You will not receive a copy of the dot sheet, but will retain your troop initial order report as your receipt. If your service unit is part of a mega delivery, you will receive additional instructions via email, which will also be posted on gscookiesetc.org. Each troop must recruit an adult volunteer to work a two-hour shift at the mega delivery on the last Saturday in January. This volunteer does not need to be a Girl Scout. The volunteer shift and cookie pickup will happen at the same time, so it cannot be the same person who is responsible for picking up cookies. As the troop cookie coordinator, you will be the driver who picks up the cookies. You will drive your vehicle to each cookie station and the volunteers will load the cookies directly into your car. Because you cannot exit the vehicle, you are encouraged to bring along another adult to help count the cookies as they are loaded into your car. You will also have an opportunity to pull over and count your cookies prior to exiting the mega delivery. Remember, cars heat up quickly and chocolate melts. After you have picked up your troop's initial order, you will want to distribute the cookies to the girls right away. To prepare for pickup, sort cookies for girls before they arrive. Give each girl some of each variety to start. Then she can turn in money to you and pick up more cookies as she sells them. Make sure the girl and her parent count the cookies before loading their car and have the parent sign a receipt for the product. Girls cannot sign receipts. Receipts should be used every time cookies are distributed and to track money transactions. Be careful to pull out the cardboard in your receipt booklet and place it underneath the receipt before writing. This is old school carbonless copy paper. Keep the white original and give the yellow copy to the parent. You will use these receipts to track transactions in ABC Smart Cookies and to verify each family's monetary responsibility. All transactions must be recorded in ABC Smart Cookies. See pages 20 and 25 of the Troop Plan Book for more details. One way to do this is to enter each transaction as it is made into the system. Another strategy for keeping track is to use the Council's T2 spreadsheet, which can be found on cookiesetc.org slash cookies under resources. The electronic version is an Excel file with formulas that do the math for you. Many troops find it helpful to enter the receipt information into the T2 spreadsheet to get a quick view of how many cookies each girl has taken and the money submitted. You must enter this information into ABC Smart Cookies. Using the T2 spreadsheet is optional. This concludes Module 3 of the Troop Cookie Coordinator Training, where we reviewed when to place your initial order, the initial order bonus, picking up your cookie order, and distributing them to girls. There will be a short quiz following this module. Then you may continue to Module 4 when you are ready. If you have questions this training does not answer, we encourage you to reach out to your service unit cookie manager or email us at customercare at girlscoutsoc.org with the subject cookie question. You're also welcome to go back and view this training later.